G'day viewers, welcome to Wimble Train. And in this video, we're going to look at how to operate the Carto turnouts using a toggle switch and a push button. So, in front of me, I have the number six Carto switch and the number four Carto switch. These are both the N gauge versions. Now, um, the number six actually has the wire pre wired in there, it's already there, so you can just run that out to the side either side or straight down through your baseboard there and then we'll use we'll connect this end to our circuit that we're going to make to operate the switch now with the number four it actually has a plug-in lead so if we turn that over there you can see the two little pins in there and this cable here which will only go in one way that's the bottom and you need to put it in that way so then that just goes in like so and then again you can run it out through the little channel this way or the longer channel out in that direction or if you like straight down through your baseboard have it completely hidden so the items we'll need to build our circuit are a toggle switch. Now this is just a two position switch like so. It's called a double pole double throw or DPDT. And you can see it's got six connections on the back there. Then we'll also need a momentary push button which means basically that these two pins are open and if I press and hold that down it shorts those two pins out making a circuit so as soon as I let it go it opens it just bounces back up very important that you get the right switch momentary push button switch and what we will also incorporate in our design is some LEDs to indicate which direction the turnout is facing so as well as that you'll need of course a soldering iron to solder it all together some solder and some wire color of your choice it's up to you what you decide to use so they're the things we'll need so we'll go off now and we'll have a look at a few circuits and then after that we'll uh, do some live demos here we have the basic wiring diagram to operate our Carto turnouts. Now if we start from the left there, we'll see the left on the, at the top, there's the our DPDT toggle switch, double pole, double throw toggle switch, which has two positions on and on. And just below that, you'll see the rear view of the switch with the six connections. Now next along onto the right, we have our momentary push button switch and then on the right there we have our Carto turnout so if we go back to the toggle switch on the left the connections on the back we've got 12 volts DC coming from our power supply going into the bottom two terminals of the switch and then we run a wire diagonally to the opposite corner of the switch on both of those connections and then the two center connections one goes off to our black wire of the turnout and the other one goes through the momentary push button switch to the red wire of the Kato turnout. So how this works is um, you'll notice the switch is currently in the straight position. So if we flick our toggle switch up now like so, nothing happens yet. So then we go over to our momentary push button switch. We give it a quick press and then let go. And then you'll notice the turnout has switched over to the diverging route. So to switch back again, toggle switch down position, quick press of the momentary push button switch and you'll notice now the turnout is in the straight route position. 
So that's the basic operation of how that works and how it's wired up. So now we move on to the same circuit but with just two LEDs in, in there to indicate the position of the turnout. So as you can see there we've added in two 680 ohm resistors and two standard LEDs. Now you'll notice the way the LEDs are connected. The anode of the left hand one goes to the resistor whereas the anode of the opposite one on the right hand side there goes to the black wire of the turnout switch. So this basically operates the same way. Currently the green LED is indicating the straight route with the toggle switch in the down position there. So if we now flick the toggle switch up the LED on the left goes out and it lights up the LED on the right. Now this is going to indicate the diverging route but it hasn't switched the turnout as yet because we need to press the momentary push button. So if we press that and let that go then the turnout actually goes over to the diverging route. And the same thing when we switch back. We basically toggle switch to down position. The LED indicator will change. And then when we press the momentary push button, then the turnout will switch over. Our last circuit uses bipolar LEDs. And these basically light up different colors depending on the polarity that's applied to them. In this case, we're using red green bipolar LEDs. So it's basically the same operation again. So at the moment we're indicating the straight route with the green LED and the diverging route with the red. So if we flick that switch up the LEDs swap over saying that we're going to now switch over to the diverging route and that'll only happen when we give a quick press of the momentary push button like so. And now we're on the diverging route of the turnout. And same as before, switch down, the LEDs change around again, indicating that we're going to switch over to the straight route, quick press of the button, and it switches back. So that's pretty much it for the circuits. We'll go now and do some uh, actual live demos to show you how this works. So here's the moment you've all been waiting for. Well, hopefully anyway. This is the Matesse setup board that I made up and I'll give you a quick look at the wiring at the back. Not too close, bit of a mess. So we've got basically, uh, this would be like a part of a control panel if you like, representing the turnout and then uh, the LEDs here will indicate which way but we'll get into that into a lot more detail in a second I'll set the camera from above I'm powering this with the 12 volts DC from my trusty 1985 kit power supply built back in the day still going strong so we'll set you up overhead so you have the bird's eye view of this setup now as you can see we've got the switch which is in the straight position, straight route. So this is normally called the straight route. There's a diverging route on this side. So the LED is showing being on the straight route. And the LED is not lit there on the diverging. And then we've got our toggle switch, which at the moment is flicked in that direction. And our push button, just like the circuit that we had a look at just before in this video. So simply we just flick the toggle over to the diverging route and you'll see the LED changes but nothing's happened with our turnout yet and it won't until we just give a quick press of this button and it's gone over to the diverging route. And basically same to go back. The LEDs have changed to the straight route and then a quick press and it's done. Simple as that. That's the basic circuit on how to switch these turnouts with our um, 12 volt DC input. 
So I'll go away now and uh, change those LEDs out for some bipolar LEDs, the ones we saw in the last few diagrams, and we'll have a look at that. Okay, we're back now with the deluxe version, dual color LEDs, bipolar LEDs. So as you can see, the switch over here is in the straight route with the uh, toggle switch pointing that way. So we have a green LED here. So that's where the switch is set and a red one here. So again, if we flick this toggle switch over, the LEDs change color. So as soon as we press the uh, quick press of the button, the uh, turnout switches across to the diverging route. We can um, go back as well. Again, just to show you that. LEDs change and then switch. So you can use these on your control panel to sort of indicate uh, which route is active and you could also, I guess, incorporate it maybe into a signaling system. So I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you have any questions or comments or anything to say about the video in general, then uh, please put that in the comments below. I like to answer all your questions and any comments that you have. So this is John from Wimbledon saying bye for now. See you on the next one. Take care. And most of all, have fun building your model railway. Bye.